friends and welcome back to the farmhouse. This is Kim from Loomwell Home and Garden. If you are new here, we invite you to subscribe and come along. I do weekly videos on everything country life and home garden DIY, natural living, those kind of things. And we invite you to come along on this journey. And today we are going to do another DIY. If you've ever owned these vintage concrete chicken statues or other concrete st statues like the deer or um, there are a couple other animals the the squirrels and, and such all that after time especially when they're vintage like this that they lose their coloring on their combs and their beaks and they crack and they chip and they just look a little beat up and worn and today I'm going to show you exactly how I have restored many of these different kinds of statues and we are going to restore these and I am going to do this with a twist. All the other ones that I've restored have been for other people. I've never restored my own and because these are my own I want them to match my decor a little more so fingers crossed I can pull this off but come on along let me show you exactly how I restore these vintage concrete chickens. So I just want to start you off with a before of the chickens and you can see just how chippy they are, how the paint is gone and chipped and they just really need to be made over and sealed up. I have seen some Instagrammers use chickens just like this in their house decor and I thought that was great because they are so farmhouse and chippy but I want to put mine outside so I want to make them over and I want them to match our decor a little bit more. The first step in working with these chickens is to make sure to get rid of all that chippy paint and sand down so you get a nice smooth finish. And of course, when working with vintage items, you wanna be sure to wear a mask, be in a well-ventilated area, wash your hands. We don't know what types of paint might be on vintage items and there could be lead or other toxins so just be aware of that and be, be cautious of those things now i had an original idea and this paint wasn't it and i i mentioned that a few times in this video but i saw this paint it's an exterior paint and i thought well if they're going to be outside this would work this is a dutch boy premium exterior paint in the color indian bead it is the same color that are on the doors of the house. And so I thought this would really give it a good base and keep it from weathering and getting too chippy again in the future. And the color that I'm using on the beak is sunshine yellow and the wattles I believe is apple red and I believe both of those are just the craft paint from Walmart. I continue working on the details for just a little while longer and then I go ahead and start doing some blending techniques because I want some depth in my work. I don't want just a plain orange looking chicken. So I mix up some red and some burnt umber. I have um, some uh, berry red too and some copper and I just start drawing those colors together and work in some shading in different places so that my chicken gets a little three-dimensional. Now using this toothbrush and just doing a dry brush over the entire chicken, this really helps highlight those areas that are raised and just gives us more depth. My final step is to take that same toothbrush dipped in water and go ahead and go back over the chicken just to be sure to blend. I've been working on these guys and I'm almost finished. I just have a few little details left to do on him. And I set him on the porch where he was going to live and so I could work on the hen. And when I came home, I realized, well, I think he turned out to be a fine specimen of a Rhode Island Red. He's just a little too matchy-matchy for the brick behind us. And he kind of just blends into 
the scenery and it doesn't really pop out and you know what when you're being creative and crafting sometimes this just happens and I actually have decided to go back to my original plan I first decided to give these guys a makeover I decided that more like a barred rock something that would have been on the farm in 1860 and I decided to go with this he's very cute but he wasn't giving me that folk country look that I was actually going for so we are going to start over so let's see what happens next I'm starting over with a new base color for the chickens and this color is black I'm using Rust-Oleum's Universal in Satin Black. Just going to give them a whole new coat of black paint all over and that will be where we will start from. I'm just using plain old Dollar Tree paint brushes. I feel they work really great for this and my first color is Folk Art and it is berry red. I do end up using some burgundy in this as well just to add another dimension of color lighten it up a little bit and it worked out really well so i'm first just going to work on the poem and the waddles in this color and then we'll move on to the rest of the detail I've painted the base with Cream Coat English U Green and now I'm just using the Cream Coat in Harvest Gold to go back over his feet and the beak. I have found that when you are working with cement statues, you kind of have to press in and do like a pounce with your brush more than a stroke because it's so porous and just being able to get the paint down into each and every little pore so that it fills it up. As you can see here, the, the feet are very porous and most of it is. So you want to be able to get that paint down in there really well and then go ahead and take your long strokes over top of it to blend in well.
And now I'm just gonna start on the hand. I'm gonna repeat all those same steps and using the same things. I'm gonna start on her base using the Preen Coat English U Green. I had not completed her base when I first did the makeover. So even though she was painted with the exterior paint, I had not yet done her base or her feet or any of those things. So she's kind of like starting from scratch, but I'm going to be using all of the same colors in all of the same just a little burnt umber I'm gonna go back and blend this with a little bit of water and make some aging on them so it's not just stark brand new they are vintage and I wanted them to look a little vintage and give a little detail so I'm just putting on a little paint and then wiping off a little more just to give that vintage look For the next big step, I'm using Apple Barrel White Paint. Just going to put some on my palette and then I'm just using a plain, cheap little chip brush, just barely sinking those bristles into the paint. And then I want to dry it off as much as possible. Just again, pouncing straight up and down. I want to keep my bristles nice and stiff. And then I'm just going to pounce all over the chicken. Now you can use the same kind of technique and do a little strokes on the high part, but your brush needs to be really dry for that. I wanted a speckled chicken look, so I'm just pouncing, and I'll do this to the entire chicken, and probably will do two coats. You just kind of play it by ear and do it to your liking.
My last step is to go ahead and seal them with a clear, flat finish universal spray paint from Rust-Oleum. It is indoor-outdoor. Now, while the black spray paint that I use with indoor-outdoor and a few of the other craft paints were outdoor paints, not all of them were, so I want to give them a good sealing. Also, it just helps add that second layer of protection because they are outside and they will have all the weather. Not in the winter time, I do bring them. But friends, here is our finished project and tell me what you think and what color would you have painted your chicken?